So I'm here finally with a video and lots of you guys have been telling me that you have the same spec as me or even a better PC and you are getting way less FPS than you are supposed to get or you are getting a lot of frame drops and shuttering and input delay. So as you guys can see here, Silo here has mentioned that he has 8 gigs of RAM stick. I have 16 gigs and he is he's telling me that he's getting just 200 FPS and a lot of frame drops. People are telling him, telling him to get a, another 8 gig stick, so he would be fine. But it's not because of the capacity of the RAM, it's because the speed of the RAM. It doesn't matter if you have a 4 gig stick or a 8 gig stick. So yeah, it doesn't matter what capacity of the RAM you have. I mean, you should have a, a minimum of 8 gigs of RAM in your PC, since Windows will be using a lot of your RAM. So yeah, the RAM speed matters. If your RAM speed doesn't match your CPU's uh, memory frequency speed, you will be facing a lot of shuttering, frame drops, and lagging. So as this guy says here, starts to lag whenever he gets near to someone. Yeah, it will be happening. It happens to me a lot. It took me three years and four different PCs to find out what's the cause. The cause is the RAM speed is not matching up with the CPU's memory speed. So now what you need to do is uh, you need to find out which CPU you have in your PC. If it's a uh, AMD, Ryzen 5 5600X or Ryzen 7 5800X or something like that. Or uh, Intel i5 10th gen or 9th gen. Just Google the model number and go to the main website. For Intel, it's arc.intel.com. For AMD, it's amd.com. So under specs, you should be able to see memory system memory specification. It says up to 3200 megahertz. So your RAM in this case needs to be running at 3200 megahertz. It should not be running anything below 3200 megahertz. So for Intel, uh, let's take let's take the i5 10th gen. Uh, under memory spec, it's, it says it's new, the RAM needs to be running at 2666 megahertz. So yeah. So the next thing you need to know is what kind of RAM you have installed in your PC. If you have a pre-built PC, you can see the spec sheet or if it's a, or you can just call the shop that you got the pre-built PC from and ask them what kind of RAM they have installed in your PC. If it's a own built PC or a custom built PC, then you should already know what kind of RAM stick you have it installed in your PC. If your RAM that you bought matches the speed of the CPU that you have, then you're good to go. If you don't have the exact RAM for your for your CPU, you need to buy the RAM kit that matches your CPU. For example, if you have an i5 10th gen, and this thing requires a speed of 2666 megahertz, and you have a RAM kit that can only support up to 2400 megahertz, then you straight up need have to buy a different RAM kit, like 2666 megahertz RAM kit. If you have the current RAM kit for your CPU, you can follow the upcoming steps. Now you need to know what speed your RAM is currently running at. To do that, you can just go to Task Manager under Performance, Memory, and it will show you the speed it's currently running at. For me, it's 3600 megahertz. It's the current speed my RAM is supposed to be running at. If it's low for you, like if you have a i5 10th gen, your RAM speed should be running at 2666 megahertz. If it's running 2100 megahertz or 2000 200 megahertz, anything lower than the required RAM speed, then that's the culprit there. And I will be showing you how to fix it. So the next step is to shut down your PC and, and then turn it back on again. While it's booting up, you need to start spamming your delete key or F2 key to get it into the motherboard BIOS settings. It should be the same for everyone, but I'm not too sure. After getting into the BIOS, it will be different if you have a different motherboard than MSI, but it should be easy to find the settings that you're looking for. For me, it's under overclocking settings. What you're looking for is DRAM settings. For me, it's under overclock settings. So after finding out where your DRAM setting is, uh, if you see an XMP profile, then you can just enable the profile. For me, both profiles are the same, so it doesn't matter which profile I choose. If you don't see the XMP profile, it's fine. Keep the XMP disabled. And you can just manually set the frequency of the RAM that you need. For me, it's 3600 megahertz, so my RAM frequency is set at 3600 megahertz. At default, it should be at auto. Just click on it, and you can choose the RAM speed for your PC. And to save it, I just need to close and apply. 
If not, you can just go to the motherboard settings and under save and exit, there should be a thing called save changes and reboot or something similar to that. You can just click it and restart your PC and your PC will restart automatically. So if your PC doesn't boot up after changing the DRAM frequency, it means that your RAM does not support the frequency or you chose the wrong RAM frequency for the RAM that you have at the moment. So what you guys need to do is you guys need to reset the BIOS of the motherboard. If your motherboard has a BIOS reset button, press it for five seconds or something like that. Or if it doesn't, you can just Google how to reset your motherboard. I will tell you one method that I usually do is to remove all the devices that is connected to my motherboard, like the mouse, keyboard, mic, everything, in Ethernet. Uh, I'll just remove it and uh, I'll remove the battery that's inside the motherboard and put it back after five minutes. This will reset your motherboard BIOS to default. Now you need to go back and do it again. And you can just go back to BIOS again and match the current RAM frequency. After booting into Windows, just go to your task manager again and go to memory. If it, should, uh, it should tell you the exact RAM value that you have uh, currently applied. If you have a i5 10th gen, it should be at 2,636 megahertz. If you have a Ryzen 5, it should be at 3,200 megahertz. The RAM speed should match your CPU's memory specification. That's it. Now you can play Fortnite without any frame drops or any shuttering or any input delay. So if this video helped you guys in any way, make sure to hit the subscribe button and smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. If you guys need any help with the RAM frequency or finding out what RAM you have, you can contact me at my Discord. I'll leave the Discord link in the description. Yep.